Good morning once again. In Music Week 4, we are going to discuss Myanmar and Thailand. Let's begin. Myanmar was known as Burma until 1989. The country's name was officially changed by the military government that took over in 1988. In music, if Indonesia has Gamelan and Pinpit for Cambodia, Myanmar has Hasaing Wine. It is an outdoor musical ensemble on the royal courts that are used to mark important ceremonial functions. Remember, royal courts are like palaces. Now, let's discuss the two types of hasaying wine. We have the loud sounding. These are performed in open air ensemble at ceremonies and festivals. The second one is the soft sounding. These are for formal and classical performances that are performed indoor. And one of the instrument is the hine. This is a double reed pipe flute. Another instrument is the pat wine. It is a set of 21 drums in a circular form. Next one is the key wine. This one is a gong, small bronze in a circular frame. It is like on pinpit. Do you remember? We have the Maung sign. This one is a larger bronze gongs in a rectangular frame. And we also have the chok. Lone Pat. This is a set of eight tuned drums. The drums are in a different sizes. We have Sian Dwa. It is a bell clapper instrument. Just like the ching in pinpit, right? And now, let's see the video about the Hasaing Waing Ensemble. Let's listen and observe the instruments. You haven't seen this on the video, but the national instrument of Myanmar is what we call the Saung Gauk. For more formal and classical performances that are performed indoors, the ensemble may be accompanied by the Saung Gauk. 
it is a 13 string angular harp with soft sound. As you can see on the picture, it's like a alligator or a crocodile. Myanmar not only has musical ensemble but also has an extensive collection of classical songs that is called the Mahagita. The Saungao usually accompanies these songs. Now, let's go to Thailand. Thailand was formerly known as Siam or Siam. It is the sole nation in Southeast Asia that has never been ruled by a Western power. It is for this reason that the country is also called Muang Thai, which means land of the free. Now, let's talk about their music. And they have Pipat. It is the musical ensemble of Thailand that features the wind and percussion instruments. Now, let's talk about the styles of playing Pipat. The first one is the outdoor style. For the outdoor style, to sound louder, they use hard mallets. And for the indoor style, wherein they need only an ample amount of sound, they use a padded mallets. They put something on the mallets to make it padded. And let's discuss the instruments of Pipat. We have the Ranat. This is the Thai xylophone that has 21 wooden bars. Are you familiar with it? Another instrument of Hasaing Waings is the Kong Wong Lek. This is similar to the Pinpit of Cambodia. This one has an 18 tuned gongs arranged in a circular manner. And we have the tapon. It is a barrel shape with head that is played by the hands and fingers. This is a membranophone. Another membranophone instrument of Hasaing Waing is the ton. This is a small goblet drum. It is made up of the lat spun wood covered with goat skin. Another instrument is the klong dat. It is a drum that provides rhythm in Pipat. It is like Skortom of Cambodia. Then, let's look and listen to the Pipat Ensemble video. Again, observe the instrument.
did you notice some of the similarities of the instruments from Hasaing Waing of Myanmar and the Pipat of Thailand to the Gamelan of Indonesia and to the Pinpit of Cambodia? So, that's all. Thank you and God bless.